first and welcome back to a brand new unboxing video. My name is San and today we're going to unbox the very special Rolling Stone Korea cover with our gorgeous gorgeous girls black pink on the cover. I'm so super extremely excited. <laughs> that was a weird sentence. I'm extremely excited to unbox this together with you guys today to see all the beautiful pictures that are inside and of course there will be a giveaway so stay tuned for that and let's dive in. So here it is the beautiful Rolling Stone Korea magazine with black pink on the cover. Can we just talk about how insanely gorgeous they look? I cannot. Um, let me show you guys this picture up close. So we got Jenny, of course, with her beautiful ginger hair. Lisa with the blonde bob. Jisoo looking fine as ever with her signature long black hair. And then we got Queen Rosé with the front pieces. I really love this hairstyle on her. So iconic, so extremely beautiful. Also, their facial expressions, just everything about this screams power, girl power, black pink power. I love this. Okay, so let's start the unboxing. The magazine opens up like this and there's also a 1S feature. So if you're interested in them, I will also look at their pictures more in depth. Um, but Blackpink is the main priority of this unboxing and here they are already Blackpink from strangers to sisters to pop supernovas. Oh my goodness I'm so excited to read this article. This is both in Korean and in English so I love that we can actually read it which is very exciting and of course this first picture already looks so extremely stunning. The girls looking elegant as ever in these gorgeous gorgeous fits with these flowers. Very beautiful, very girly, very powerful again like the cover. I love this. The styling props to the team because yeah this is top notch. Then the next page here the interview starts. So um, I will just read you guys the first line. The interview is rather long, so I'm not going to read everything. You just have to get the magazine or win the giveaway in order to find everything out yourself. Or you can pause this video, of course, and read it. But it starts like this. In an otherwise ordinary Seoul neighborhood, the headquarters of YG Entertainment rise like a giant spaceship above the Han River. YG is one of South Korea's largest entertainment agencies, producing international K-pop stars as well as, more recently, actors and models. Opened in 2020, a new complex extends nine stories above ground and five below. That's huge, guys. So then it just goes into YG um, and then here it starts with Jenny. Jenny, who, like her bandmates, on this April afternoon is dressed down and wearing very little makeup, takes a deep breath before describing what's ahead. These days, I think every day, okay, how do I prepare myself for the next busy two years, she says, alternating between Korean and English. I love that. I'm very excited for the next two busy years. I hope that a comeback will be very soon. I heard that there are some things in the making, so let's pray, let's hope for that, because I need new Blackpink music, and I think we all do. So the interview goes further, uh, but yeah, you can read that for yourself once again. Let's look at the picture. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous Lisa. This has like a flower theme going on because we saw flowers in the previous one. And now also she's like holding this flower. Very, very cool. The outfit is also very gorgeous. Love it. Um, yeah, her pose, everything about her, her body. So amazing. She's a total star. I love her. And then next up we have our Queen Rosé sitting in like plants. Very cool. And whilst we stare at beautiful Rosé and her golden locks, uh, I just want to point out that in their interview it says that their last LP called simply The Album sold around 1.2 million copies in less than a month after its 2020 release. That's insane, guys. Like, I knew Blackpink was, you know, 
popular, but 1.2 million copies in less than a month? That's crazy. Here we can see more of the interview. I want to give you another quote uh, that Jenny says, more than anyone, we want to be ordinary girls, says Jenny. Sure, there are times that we talk about what kind of influence we could have, but what we actually love is talking about our cats, dogs, good food, and pretty places. I love that. Blackpink is like so down to earth, even though they are superstars. So yeah, I definitely appreciate that about them. They always stay very humble and yeah, that's um, that's what I like most when idols stay humble, stay true to themselves and realize that, you know, they have a very privileged position and that they came from, you know, another background that once they were just trainees, you know, they haven't forgotten about that. So that's very, very special. These days, Blackpink are spending as much time as possible with family and friends. I feel like I'm recharging myself, says Jisoo. My life these days is not too busy because we're not actively performing yet. I want to come back with music quickly. I live alone, but my parents are in the same apartment building, so we share meals together. That's so cute. I hope that they come back as well. I think that the girls want to work again as well because, you know, it has been rather quiet. Of course, we have, like, Jesus acting and all the, like, brand promotions um, that the girls do for Chanel and YSL and Dior. And, um, you know, that's amazing but we want to see you know actual music actual performances then a little bit about rose as a child in melbourne she would play piano and guitar and sing until so late that her parents and her sister alice who all live in seoul now had to take turns telling her to stop that's so cute she recently picked up her guitar for the first time in ages in both korean and english she talks about recording her voice on an ipad exploring and playing and experimenting I hadn't been doing that for the past two or three months, she says. Caught up in life, I even told my mom I want to be by myself for the next few days so she didn't come over. That's really good. Like, she's just focusing on herself, on her creativity. Uh, I really applaud her for that. And then uh, moving on to this beautiful Jenny picture. I love this. Um, her hair is so iconic. Like, it seems like everybody is going into this, like, ginger hair nowadays. Like, we saw it on Kendall Jenner as well. So I think it's safe to say that it is a real trend right now in the fashion industry, but I'm here for it. I love it so, so much. Look how gorgeous she is. Iconic. And I love the nails. Like, long nails are everything very beautiful, Jenny. Very beautiful. Then, um, this quote in black, the life of a trainee can be a tough one. We had the same problem, says Jisoo, so it was better to talk to each other. That's so, like, sweet. I know how hard our trainee days were, so the fact that they could rely on each other, that always warms my heart so much. I think that's one of the big advantages of being in a group. Um, our hip-hop isn't the rebellious kind, Jenny says. What hip-hop is this? I don't know. It's just cool. And there she made a statement, like, they don't need, like, specific labels. Like, is this rap? Is this hip-hop? Is this R&B? Is this K-pop? Is this pop? Whatever it is that they're making, it's just cool. It's their style, their signature Blackpink sound uh, that doesn't really need a label. And then we have beautiful, gorgeous Jisoo in this, like, tie-dye dress. She reminds me of one of these ballerinas. You know that you have, like, these little boxes and then you open it up and a ballerina starts spinning? Jisoo reminds me of that for some reason. It's this pose, maybe, but she's so gorgeous. She looks insane. I love the dress. There is a little bit about our trainee life in their interview. In that three-bedroom apartment with the white walls faded to ivory, the four girls shared two rooms while their manager slept in the other one. They played rock, paper, scissors to decide who would use the single bedroom first in the morning. Going grocery shopping was so much fun, remembered Rosé. We would cook together after a long day of training. Nothing spectacular, all frozen stuff, but I miss the taste of that food. I made scrambled eggs with milk, says Jenny. And we ate that with strawberry jam at Rosé. It was delicious. They needed that kind of camaraderie because the life of a trainee can be very demanding. K-pop's trainee systems, inspired by Motown in the US and Johnny's Entertainment in Japan, come under frequent scrutiny. There is no guarantee of ever succeeding, which means that trainees can remain in limbo for years. 
The curriculum differs from agency to agency. At YG, the future Blackpink members underwent a rigorous monthly testing system where trainees performed solo and in teams for judges, developing everything from their own choreography to styling. When was this going to end? Like when? Do we have to get tested every single month? Says Lisa, who initially didn't speak Korean but is now fluent. I'd call my mom in Thailand wanting to quit and she would tell me to just hang on another year. Just hang on. If I was going through a hard time, I'd go to the bathroom, sob my heart out and then on to the next thing, says Rosé. I was on autopilot or something. If you told me to do that again, I could never. That's so sad. Like, trainee life makes me really upset. I don't know if you guys saw BB's uh, recent live stream, like the hip-hop artist, BB. Uh, she signed under 88 Rising and she uh, is an incredible artist. Like, you should definitely listen to her songs. But she was speaking about, you know, the difficulties of being a celebrity and being um, in, like, this industry and working so hard and that she's so tired and she can't even eat or take a nap or take off her makeup without contacting her managers first. So, you know, that just goes to show that there's a lot going on in this industry and I love that nowadays people speak up more about it. Like, I felt like for a long time it was kind of like a shush uh, subject like nobody could speak about it but now idols slowly start to open up especially about their trainee days how hard it was the difficulties that they needed to overcome in order to succeed and yeah that is really inspiring to me so uh, props to them um, now Blackpink are reviving up to launch new music to unleash more bangers to future cement their place as one of the greatest girl groups of all time with no end in sight. I mean, won't Blackpink last at least 10 more years? We'll be nearly 40 by then, Lisa says. Someday we'll get married and things like that. But then I see the Spice Girls, how they got together for a reunion concert. Can we do that too someday? Will I be able to dance then like I do now? Then she laughs. Even if we're 70 and we have different lives, I still feel like I'm Blackpink, says Jenny. As corny as it sounds, I don't think Blackpink will ever end in my heart. It's part of my family. You can't deny your family. Last year, Rosé released her first solo single, Underground. I asked what the lyric, Everything I Need is Underground, means to her. Just us as people a year and a half ago, maybe two, I remember us eating. It was the four of us and Teddy. We were just hungry people. We got to the restaurant very hungry and the food was really good. That This is what makes us feel like people. Just us. Eating with the people we love. That's so cute. I love Rosé so much. I love all the girls. They are so cute and so tight as a group. Love that. Then here we have One Us. Until all the universe becomes one to hear, one us. Oh, this is so gorgeous. So I go through this like a little bit more quickly because this is a Blackpink unboxing. So I know most people came here for Blackpink, but you can pause it and then read it if you want. But um, here are the beautiful, gorgeous pictures. Very beautiful. And then we have Insuni here, an artist whose music she sang to survive became life itself. We have a Dove Cameron interview here in case you guys are interested in that. Then NCT Hechan, what a gorgeous boy. Suran, I personally don't know her, but this seems like a cool interview as well. Then here we have Astro. I love that they included so many artists. That's amazing. So if you're a multi-stan, then this is definitely very cool. And then on this page here, we have more Blackpink. The apex of a K-pop girl group fit out in glamour and attitude. That is another piece about our gorgeous girls from Blackpink. And it starts like this. How often do we get to see a group such as Blackpink? They've built a powerful fandom, which is unusual for most girl groups, and are clearly recognized as famous idols. Blackpink's music carries a signature sound, notably beginning with Blackpink in your area, that cannot be heard in any other girl group songs. And then it goes on and on, um, which is amazing. I love the praise that Blackpink gets in this interview. Very gorgeous. 
look at them they are so beautiful and then it goes on and that was the interview we have some more nct dream here then g idol a review of um, never die first full album and that was it for the unboxing you guys i loved unboxing this beautiful rolling stone magazine together with you guys and of course like i promised there will be a giveaway two lucky coco divers will be able to win this beautiful gorgeous magazine all you need to do is first of all be subscribed to the coco dive youtube channel then secondly also give this video a big thumbs up Please also follow us on all our other different social media channels such as TikTok and Instagram. Then please also follow me on Instagram. It's at san underscore fender. That will make me very, very happy. And then last but not least, comment down below your absolute favorite Blackpink song. And that is it. Good luck with the giveaway. Bye bye, Coco Divers. Love you loads. Oh.